the foam stars are currently engaged in defending the energy cores in each area of Bath Vegas from the onslaught of bubble beasties. Citizens in the affected zones should evacuate. Okay, we've got to defend this point. Quinn, the beasties are coming! Don't worry, you should have no problem fighting them off with that assault foam gun. Yeah, we already know how to play. Why do I have to go up against things like this? Weren't you listening? Only Foam Star's foam guns work against Bubble Beast. Gwen out. And then she disconnected from the call. Her okay. name was Penny Gwyn. While the rest of Foam Stars prepared to defend the city from Bubble Beasties, Gwyn had a different agenda. Well, yeah, she's got a fight for penguin kind, you know. Perhaps it had something to do with her participation in Home Smash. Shut down your comms. What is that girl thinking? Oh, shit, 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 shit. A little too close to comfort there. My goal in coming to Bath Vegas is not to fight those creatures. I have but one goal. Mm. It's to save my home, Antarctica, from sinking due to climate change. And to do that, I must do one thing. Win for Smash. The human world revolves around me. Once I have the prize money, my objective will be within Fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too close to the core. Too close to the core. Hmm. Is that Tonics calling me again? <laughs> no. It's Master Odory. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, was that a picture of a real seal? Oh shit, that thing's throwing bubbles back at us. Odory is an extraordinary 283-year-old Odory. He and his disciple, Gwyn, have a remarkably strong bond. A bond so strong that Gwyn oh, can God. even understand Master Odory's eerie noises. Okay, this is... oh shit. Fuck, this is tough. Oh shit, they're going... Mm, how am I supposed to... Oh shit, this one's getting too close. Dude, aim, aim, aim at the fucking thing. Wow. Oh shit, it talks now. I had predicted that you'd make the long journey to Barbados. You knew? that calls for the deployment of my elite penguin squad. Together with your bubble penguin comrades, you shall prevail. Okay. Thank you, Master. Well, I've been using those the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that was my problem. I was staying way too close to the edge. And they're stronger than before. Have a care, young Gwyn. Okay. The fuck? This thing's moving around. Whoa, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, that's illegal. Ah, oh, fucker. Oh, God. 
still have my seal of approval. Har, har, har. I never would have qualified for Foam Smash if it weren't for you training me. I want to see that training. You have my sincere gratitude. Oh, shit. <sighs> they weren't kidding. That's all very well, Gwyn. Yet, I must ask why you refuse to fight the beasties. Do you lack confidence? No. I simply do not have a reason to. I'm here to save Antarctica, not wait. Or? You, dummy, dum dum! Oh god. Master! What do you suppose will happen if the beasties destroy the cause? Not only Antarctica, but the entire planet will be annihilated! What? I had no idea! Yeah, think of the think bigger picture. About it. This is no time to be wringing your flippers, or hands, as you would say. Think about it! You must defend the energy cores to save your brethren and the planet. Master Odori's words hit home. <laughs> What's how Wynne expressed her surprise in her native tongue? Okay. I forget if I get extra points for this or not, like the same way you unlock things or whatever. Oh, you do? Okay. Oh god. Ugh, they use like actual pictures of seals for this. I thought it was part of the mask. The foam honest. stars are currently engaged in defending the energy cores in each area of Bat Vegas from the onslaught of bubble beasties. Citizens in the affected zones should evacuate. Then it's decided. I shall save the planet. You must, Gwyn. I shall not bring shame to penguin kind. You shall face defeat, you brazen bubble beasties. Shit, there's a bunch of them. Since approaching prey, it's a small beastie heart. Do you remember how to use the toboggan bomb? Yes. I send off my bubble comrades to pile up on top of the enemy. Yeah, we know how to do that one. We've been Precisely. doing that one for a while. Win. Good luck in battle. Determined to save Ooh, the awesome. Plan, Penny Gwyn engaged the enemy in fierce battle. And it wasn't only Master Otary who was watching her closely from Antarctica. I guess fans? Fans watching TV or whatever? Uh, who is it this time? Oh, it's you! Finley! Shit. Or, huh? The tiny penguin, Pentley, was her younger brother. Um, okay. Of course, means that his squawks and chatter were perfectly comprehensible to Gwyn. Okay, so was Gwyn adopted by penguins or something? I'm, I'm kind of curious what her what her story is. Shit, I didn't. Oh. Cheering for that. Being everyone's darling, Pentley was growing up to be a carefree boy. Even the threat of the polar ice melting wouldn't wipe the smile off his beak. Oh god. 
It was just the way he was. Um, okay. We're all gonna die! Hey, <laughs> you know, like... Oh, boy. Shit. Did I get the ones on the other side? Oh, no, there's... There we go. How much ice has been lost since I left? I mean, it's getting so serious, you may have to call in vanilla. Shit, that went out of the way. I don't know. But our home's now just like... A little ice boat. You know what I mean? We mm. all have to snuggle together so as not to fall off. It's just shit, like shit, shit. being on the back brush our There you brain. go. Oh, there's more. Get them. All of them? Oh shit, there's more, huh? Oh shit, there's more. And this dude. Please get all oh, too far away. Wait, what? What are you talking about, Penny? There we go. I saw it on the internet. People being packed in like yummy sardines. Internet? What? I mean, they don't have fun, I guess. Yeah. We can get on the That's not good. I don't know how it survived the water though. But... Yeah, Gwen only knows about the mission. She's got no no time you wasted on the internet. Shit. Oh, this guy's sitting back. Ben, I wanted to ask, uh, do you know where Mommy and all the others have gone off to? Uh-oh. How would I know that? Right! Silly me! <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with that. Well, I mean, he's a penguin too, so they might have something to do with it. Should be all of them, right? Okay, there's more. Why do they all look like sheep? That's the funny part. That one should take care of that one, I'm sure. Fuck, we'll just go right over him. We've lost even more ice cover since I left my homeland. It is a matter of urgency that I win Foam Smash. Then I better not be using her, because <laughs> I'm bad at Foam Smash. Oh god, we got a giant Viva Pinata here. There we That's go. That's it? That's only going to upset the small side. Hmm. Excellent, Gwyn. Excellent. You fight like a Navy SEAL. Har har. <sighs> Haven't you been trying to stop the global climate breakdown in other ways too? Yes. I have petitioned the industry is destroying our planet to stop. By blasting them with foam. activity is far from eco. And what if the big businesses refuse to comply with your request? They foam them up. I'll call forth the Penguin Army. I'll pay them a visit. I sense further trouble. There are more, and they're attacking the unattended Ward 3. You keep your flipper on the pulse of this battle from half the world over. Astonishing, yes. But I'm urging you to hurry. Gotcha. Let's cut back to Tonix and her grandma. I can't wrap my head around this. Uh, 
what? The question of what Penny Quinn really is. She says she represents the polar penguins, but she looks human to me. Exactly, yeah. like... They never could have guessed that Gwyn's identity would soon be revealed. Okay, I'm assuming that she was adopted by penguins at birth or something like that. I guess. That, that's all I could assume. All I can make sense. She's the only human in the entire area, it looks like. Identified a change in pattern of the bubble beasties attacking the energy cores in Bath Vegas. They currently appear to be massing for an assault on Core 3, located in the center of town. This one looks big, man. This looks like the major core. This is Gwyn. I've arrived at the next base. Resuming mission operations. Okay, we're already coming. Oh, there's a big fucker right off the bat. What the fuck? Where'd it go? Hey! Hey, Penny! Mm. Huh. Why are you here, Melky? Built up my... This will enable you to unleash the Emperor March. Which I've already done a couple of times during the story mode. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. Let's, let's do it, Emperor! By the way, you refuse to cooperate with the rest of your team, choosing to go solo. Yet Mel T still came to your aid. You're lucky to have caring allies. <sighs> Ooh. They're sending the big guns for this fucker. Oh shit, where, 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 hey, okay, let's... Enabling communication channel. Can you hear me? Tonics? Win? Fuck, none of them are hitting it. Come on. There we go. Shit. Mm. Okay, that one's done. The good thing that stuns this other guy, so I have time I to respond. Apologize for refusing to talk to you. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it. My family lives on the South Pole. Yeah, but she's referring to penguins, though. Shit. Yes. They're treading on thin ice. Richard. I... initially signed up for Foam Smash to use my winnings to restore the ice cap. Oh, okay. Fuck. I had no intention of participating in any other battles. But now, I realize that our planet's fate depends on the outcome of this battle. And so, I shall fight. Fuck! That 
waste of time. Whoa. Oh, that was close. Well, that's good to know. Well, I'm just kind of peeved off by your mysterious ways. Hey, penguins are mysterious, okay? First off, what are you? I'm Penny Gwynn. We represent all the penguins. Why do you represent penguins? You're human. I'm not human. I'm a penguin. Yeah, how dare you? That's 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 fighting words, man. Hit the high ones. Just a little too close. Little did Gwyn know. There we go. Penguin had followed her to Bath Vegas. Oh? Is, is this really you? Mom! Oh my god. I don't know what to do, because I know there's going to be a boss fight. I want to save that for, for later. Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Well, whatever. Hmm. Kill it but now. Kill it. Than Gwyn's dear mother, the penguin, of course. While her calls were indecipherable to humans, Gwyn had no trouble whatsoever. In understanding that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Holding for sheep. Well, we can understand this too, actually. Wait. What? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. There's. <sighs> Are there some on this side too that I missed, or did I get them all? Fuck. No, you don't, motherfucker. Come check out my penguin translator. I randomly invented it the other day. <laughs> Let me switch it on. Boy, there's a whole lot more. Let me see. Can this help? Shit. I wish it was better. Yeah, these sheep are trying to put the put the core to sleep. Take care of that one. Oh shit. Okay. Well I got that one dizzy, so I can focus on Please take care of that one. Okay, now I can just focus on one. Gwyn! You seem well. I am, but what are you doing here, Mother? Gwyn's mother wouldn't have made the long trip without a good reason. And that reason was... Okay, where's the... Is that like boss music? Oh, shit. Here, take this. Meet the... <sighs> God damn this thing. Keeps moving around. Shit. Okay, now it's closer for me to hit. <clears throat> get it, get it. Fuck. 
fucker's just too damn far away, man. Then it's Brace. If I kill the big one, it doesn't matter what the other ones do, because they'll all die along with the boss. Just die, just die, just die! Oh, fucker! There we go. Ooh. That was close. I'm so relieved that you're unhurt, Gwen. Mother. Oh, I have had my misgivings about you leaving, dear. I knew that one day you'd fly the nest, or rather... Mm, walk away from it, since we penguins don't fly. We... penguins? Gwen, I must tell you something. Yes, Mother? You see, darling, the truth is that you are adopted. I'm... I'm what? Mother, what are you saying? Gwen's reaction seemed rather over the top to her teammates. It was glaringly obvious. I mean, I guess. However, also... Gwen was genuinely shocked by the unexpected revelation. Did... Did you hatch me from another penguin's egg? Darling, you are... a human. <gasps> penguin has I to pay taxes now. forget that morning. The day I met you. A strange object, drifting on the waves caught my eye. It was a Moses basket with you in it. Your father and I searched everywhere we could for your human parents. Oh, we really tried, but we couldn't find anyone. In the end, we decided it was best to raise you by ourselves. And we welcomed you to our penguin family. Oh god. Yep, so Penny Gwen must now pay taxes, get a job, rent an apartment, and all that other fun stuff that humans have to go through. I think she's booking her next flight to Antarctica.